Mike has seen some better days. It's all beat to hell. But I'll keep this quick. Because, fuck you. Uh, so, to be real quick, uh, basically, I hate hypocrisy. I think it's unfair, personally, specifically, that it's okay and cool and sexy and edgy for girls to have daddy issues, but it's all fucked up and creepy for me to have daughter issues. I mean, I think, you know, yeah, that's that. Okay, next one. So, like everyone in this room, I work customer service. And, yeah. And uh, specifically in the phone industry. And I get a lot of people saying, hey, my phone doesn't work. My bill's too high. And I was thinking, I wish I was in a wheelchair and my legs didn't work. So when people come up to me and say, hey, my phone's broken, faggot. I'll say, well, my fucking legs don't work. And they can feel pretty guilty. <laughs> So I guess all the funny walked out of the door. <laughs> okay, who finds this as a credible threat? If you don't get away from me, I'm gonna finger your kids. Anybody? <laughs> like straight pterodactyl? Anybody? It's pretty scary. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So uh, I notice women got a lot of lip on them. They talk out of turn. They think they deserve stuff that they don't. And you know why men aren't like that? Because there's a real credible threat that we can get punched in the face. <laughs> Women don't have that problem. Like, you know, like, your dick's tiny. Fuck you, fatty. You know, I'm not going to punch him in the face because I'll go to jail. <laughs> so that's pretty much just it's personal experience. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm going to skip some of the jokes with question marks because they're not very funny. It's like the rest of them, I saw. Okay, so... Uh, you know what the scariest thing is? Ghost dicks. I mean, you can't fight them. If they want your asshole, you're gonna get it. I mean, wide open, ghost jizz, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get ghost aids? He damn sure can't fill them motherfuckers neither, damn. Right. So there's a little age difference between my girlfriend and I, and I'm a little older, she's a little younger, and it kind of weirds us out a little bit, but... Thank you. So, you know, uh, I kind of wanted to bridge the awkward gap, make her feel a bit better, you know, that we're in this relationship. You know, so I cleaned out my car, I got in a nice suit, you know, I picked her up from middle school, and I got her a big box of wine and two crazy straws, you know, so it's like a juice box for two, so. She dumped me. Okay. Okay, so, I'm really lonely and I want to get a flashlight, but they're really expensive. So I'm like, I'm going to go for a bargain basement fleshlight. Uh, you know what I found that is? A block of Swiss cheese. I mean, if you think about it, it's got multiple holes, so you don't have to wash it. It already stinks, and you can share it with your friends for, like, money. So, yeah, it's a good investment. And I'm going to finish up on this one. For all those would-be detectives in the crowd, if you were to look at my bed sheets, you were to think, man, this guy jacks off a lot. Or he's really clumsy when he eats his cinnamon rolls. <laughs> <laughs>